um, thank you. We are very glad to see you again. Uh, we watched your film. Now uh, we are here in the uh, National Library, and uh, there are some students of Samira Learning Center and uh, the employers of the employers of this uh, library. Uh, we all gathered here to discuss about peace. Now we watched your film. It was very interesting, and uh, all our participants have their questions to you. Uh, you worked very hard. Thank you for you. And uh, now, now we have. Uh, uh, they are greeting you. <laughs> okay. Hello. Nice to see you. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Well, Mr. Mr. Jeremy, we watched it. Some of our participants have their questions. Please, uh, can you answer them? Yes, of course. Please ask your questions, of course. What interesting things do I find in my work? I think the most interesting thing uh, about my work is um, the opportunity to travel the world, um, to meet young people from you know well over a hundred countries now, uh, to to have the opportunity to sit in front of some of the great thinkers, Nobel Peace laureates. Uh, heads of business, uh, you know, sports players, you know, creatives, actors. You know, it's it's wonderful to be able to have conversations like the one I'm having with you. I find it inspirational, and that's the greatest part of my job is being able to talk to young people all over the world and to have learned all of the wonderful things that I've learned. Um, is 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 very empowering, and uh, I I really enjoy it. Um, sorry, what's the question? Uh, did you produce any other films about peace? Are you, are you, do you have any other films? Oh, well, the first film that I made was called Peace One Day. The second film that I made was called The Day After Peace. Then I made a film which was called Peace One Day Part Three, which is on YouTube. I then made a film, which is Peace One Day, um, you know, is it sits on our website in about 21 minutes. And now I'm making a film for 2016. I'm making a film right now to be, liver, de be delivered in 2016. Thank you for your question. And I'm very pleased that you enjoyed the film. That's fantastic news. <laughs> And I love you all waving your flags. It's beautiful to see the flags being waved. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Fantastic. Who's got the next question? Hello. Hiya. Well, to Chikistan, we'd love to, uh, you know, come and visit you one day. And, uh, you know, we, you know, if we come, then, uh, then of course we'll come to your school. 
Um, at present, I'm working in the Great Lakes region of Africa. I'm doing a lot of work in the Democratic Republic of Congo, you know, Burundi, Uganda, uh, uh, Rwanda. And so we're very concentrated there. Um, but obviously our teams, Alina and other members of the teams, we're, we obviously want people from every single country of the world to do things. So we're really pleased that your school will be marking Peace Day 2015. And we hope that you'll tell other schools within your country to do the same. And we very much hope that the young people who are behind you, uh, you know, will, will get involved with their families and through their sport and their literature and their music, plan wonderful activities for the 21st of September 2015. But rest assured, if I come to your country, I will be coming to your school. But at the moment, we are working in Africa right now. I hope so too. I'd love that. I'd love that. Well, I think that, um, I think, thank you for your question. Thank you for your question. Um, I think that what we need uh, people to do is in their families, to bring their families together on the 21st of September. Um, sometimes in our families, there may be people that we don't speak to. Um, sometimes with our friends, uh, we don't speak to them. Sometimes in the schools, there are young people who may well be bullied or are feeling left out. You know, sometimes in our communities around our homes, there are people who are not at peace who are suffering in some way. And I think that uh, it's very important that we as individuals make sure that in our families and in our homes, you know, and in our schools on the 21st of September, peace day, that we are united and that we are one and that we are forgiving each other and that we are reconciling our differences. Because if all of the families of the world did this, then we would have peace in our planet. And so this process is not in the hands of government, this process is in the hands of the people of our world. And so the people of our world must embrace the 21st of September Peace Day and great things will occur. Thank you for your question. Thank you, sir. Wow, fantastic. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Hello. Well, um, like I thank you very much for your question. Uh, like I said to the young man who just spoke, if we want to manifest peace in our countries, then we as individuals must manifest peace in our homes and in our schools and in our communities. And this is the greatest thing that we can do. Most of the violence that will happen today is not happening with guns. It's happening with fists and words. And this is what we need to concentrate on most of all. So every individual can play a role in manifesting peace in the world. And that starts with ourselves and that starts in our homes. And that's how we can all become involved. So thank you for your question. So peace starts with you and me being involved on the 21st of September. So plan wonderful activities, football matches, musical events, etc.
Hello. Okay. Hi. Hiya. Hiya. Um, am I satisfied? Yeah, I'm satisfied uh, with what I did. Um, you know, I'm really sad. I'm satisfied. Um, I feel feel like it's been a fantastic journey. Um, it's been very difficult at times. Um, but then, you know, that's I feel very privileged to have had that opportunity, whether it was tough or whether it was, um, you know, not so tough. Um, and I have no regrets. And I'm very excited about the future. I'm very excited about, you know, say the next three to five years, 10 years of working as hard as I possibly can to increase the numbers. You know, there are millions and millions of people who are aware and involved on this day now. And there are millions of people whose lives are seriously affected. That's, a, that's just a massive um, opportunity. And I'm really excited. And I'm really pleased that I'm talking with you guys today. And I'm really pleased that in Tajikistan you can uh, do things on the day, on the 21st of September. And it's just amazing that we're all speaking. It's very exciting. No, I have a long way to go. I have a lifetime. You know, I have a lifetime to um, do anything that I can to inspire and empower uh, young people particularly, and I'm committed to that. You know, I'll spend the rest of my life uh, doing everything that I can to support this day. Everything I can. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you know what Thank you. I myself have a question to you. Um, what do you do if you fail? If you run into pains? Yeah, I think that um, th this is a great question. I think, um, you know, I see failure as, as, a, as an opportunity for success. I think that when I fail, it's when it's most exciting. I think that when you, uh, you, know, you, you know, you climb the mountain and you don't get to the top, but then you have an opportunity to climb the next day. And, you know, wherever, wherever it was difficult, there lies the, the opportunities, the wonderful learnings. When I fail, I become richer as a human being uh, because I think about my failures. I think about the things that I did wrong, you know, whether that's in my personal life or in my or within the business. You know, it's like failure is everything. That's what's exciting. That's what makes me fueled to kind of get up and work hard. When people say no, I think it's really interesting. So I think to the young people who are listening, you know, when you fail and you don't win the race, don't let that put you off. Just make that make you want to work even harder the next day. You know, we should look at our failures as success. We should completely reverse the meanings of the words. You know, failure is where we become rich and uh, uh, more accomplished human beings. Now we have a list of short programs for you. Some of my students want to sing and to dance and to some poems. Brilliant, can't wait. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs>
Absolutely wonderful. Wonderful performances. Congratulations, everyone. It was wonderful.
Congratulations to everybody. Yeah, it's fantastic. Thank you very much for allowing me the opportunity to speak with you today. It's been a real privilege and I'm delighted that in Tajikistan that you are celebrating Peace Day. So thank you very much for allowing me to speak to you all today. Thank you. Thank you. 
the past and we want you to come in our country to be our guests to do it. Okay, well thank you very much. Good luck on the 21st of September 2015. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.